What's good YouTube, your boy Javon Jan. I'm back with another video for y'all today. Today is day two of the van build. I'm gonna go screw these in to here. As I showed y'all before in the first video, I'm about to build the other, the bottom piece, <clears throat> which will be just like the top. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make the whole box frame today. Hopefully I can finish the whole thing today. I got a, <clears throat> and I got some more supplies from the Home Depot, as you guys saw in my last vlog. And I had an extra piece of wood over here. I didn't know that. I found that in the other garage, the other storage. Um, <clears throat> I already took all my stuff out already, my insulation and stuff. Made sure and started my day early too, so I got a full day. I got a full day to to try to knock out as much as I can. So the goal here is to finish all of these, make sure they're all good and they're all tight and in in place. Then do the same thing for the bottom, except I might put one or two of these across on the bottom, but on the inside, just for um a stronger 
foundation for when I'm on it. And it's crazy because I'm not even really working with a lot of space, but that's the you know the cool thing about it. Still being able to get it done, so like you know, no excuses, you know. And I'm actually doing my build um, while I'm already on the road. That's, that's, some of you may already know that I'm already on the road already. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm doing it by my storage, or oh, I could do it by my dad's house, but. It's still basically nowhere like low key or in private, you get me? I'm out in the open right now. So, you know, just you know, do it when you can. If, if For those who, who's already on the road as well and they don't even have anyone or anywhere to go to, to do the build. My suggestion to you is, um, the best place to do it is at the campsites. Go rent a camp spot for like a few dollars. It's not that much. The last one, the last camp spot I rented was 15 bucks. So you could go there and you could do start your build there. You know, according to how, how much work it is, you could knock it out. This ain't too, too much. One bed, a table, I mean a, a a, a chair, uh, a table, and um, a kitchen. Easy money. You know what I'm saying? So I got one, two, three. I gotta put one more in here and then three more. Knock that out, done. Running out of screws, well, long screws. I had to go look for some more. Guys who have excuses out there, don't make excuses, just get it done. You only live once, don't play with it. Whatever they give you, make something out of it. Show them that ain't nothing stopping it. You understand me? I see, I see a lot of people on YouTube and stuff, they had like the full works. They had a shop to do this, everything, you know what I'm saying? Which is cool, you know? Um, that's good, you know? I'm happy for them. But I'm just saying like, don't have excuses if you don't have that um, type of stuff. Just do what you gotta do, you know? Until it can be, until things get better, you know? So, yeah, I'm just leading by example. Alright guys, so I figured I'm going to take this out, which is the top of the bed frame. And I'm going to just um, build the bottom piece for it. Probably right here. But it came out good, y'all, as you can see. Everything is on point. Boom. That's why I'm putting the mattress on. So now it's time to build the legs, the bottom piece. So I'm gonna put this to the side. And start working on that. Now. I'm gonna 
do the same thing I did with the piece of wood that I cut across when I was measuring it. I'm gonna just use these and make make them the same length as these. And then I'm gonna make some legs for it to go in between it for a strong, a strong foundation. Then I'm gonna put it back in the van and continue. Just need some space to knock this out. It's gonna be quicker if I do it like that. These are the wood I had to cut at Home Depot to fit in the van. You guys watch if you guys watch my last vlog you would see that I cut the wood I was cutting the wood and I didn't measure anything but look how it's almost the same length as the bed frame already just that little piece missing right there and that's easy to add on cut that piece I probably already got that look one of these boom you know what I'm saying so that's how stuff be working out, man. When you got gold on your side, be working out. And you don't even know it. It's crazy. <sighs> Alright, so let's get to it, man. this together until I actually connect everything. Alright? Because the screw might not be long enough to fit in there. Yeah, probably would. Let me see. Hmm. Just about. Nah. I ain't gonna even waste my time with that. I'ma just do it how I was gonna do it. Cut piece of this, put it on here, like a little piece, boom, boom, connect it until I actually put all of these together, like how I did with this. And then when I put this piece across here, it's gonna connect and make everything stronger. So it wouldn't matter if I had this on it. these in case I need to connect anything until just to hold it together until I could really make it like stronger more firm so now it's time to um, size up the other piece to my added on piece see how that shit is? see how it looks temporary for now to hold it together make it work gotta make it work so now I must measure this with the, the piece of wood boom now I know how much I gotta cut you always want to cut a little longer than where the mark is Cause it's always better to cut longer where you would just have to cut off a little extra than to cut shorter and you have to do it all over again all i want something to learn from you baby won't be so long why you keeping me waiting why you keeping me waiting
with the other half, the bottom. See how I connected it right here? Temporarily, as long as it's the same length as the top. Now I gotta go measure up the ones that go across to connect it. And then I'm gonna add the uh, probably like six legs. One in the middle, one on, the, on each end. And then, like I said before, I'm gonna use the bottom for storage and all that but it's coming along though see other piece right there so that's gonna go on top when I was first making the the bed frame the top this for the pieces of wood on the sides I didn't realize I cut I used the cheap piece of wood on the other end at the bottom so I'm gonna replace that with a thicker piece more quality piece get me that way I won't have to um do anything or no fixing for a very long time um so i'm about to cut that right now boom see how it lined up perfectly one end other end Perfect. All, right. All of the time we spent together in our prime, we were birds of a feather, different kind. We were alive and through the pain, you were never once so vain. The cord that kept us connected Blacking out the mirror where your light once reflected All of the love from up above We used to feel like a glow Together in our prime, we were birds of a feather. If we tried, we were alive and through the pain, we were never once so vain. Cut the cord that kept us connected, blacking out the mirror where your love was reflected. All of the love from up above. So that's a wrap. That was a little workout right there. So I got this piece, which is the top. All right, as you can see. Oh shit. Boom, see that? And the bottom, boom. See, so now it's time for the legs, which is gonna go one here, one here, one in the middle, middle, and and done see now i hide this in the inside so you ain't gonna ever see this when the bed is actually in there everything's gonna be covered up you don't even know well nobody's gonna know even though i'm not even gonna have anybody it's just me and my van maybe i might get a dog eventually i've been thinking about it my little sister just got like a teacup yoki type i'm gonna build the, the legs and everything and then put it back in there. So yeah, let's get it cracking, man. All right, guys. See, I got all six legs. Boom. Bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. I measured all the legs, all right, for the bed, the same height with the seat. You get me? The height of the seat, so. 
Um, obviously, when I sit on the bed, my head don't touch the ceiling or anything. It'll be perfect. You know what I'm saying? So now with these, I'm gonna put them like this. Boom. I was gonna use this one, like I told y'all before, but they're um, they look like they're gonna be way too. Um, basically, they're gonna be fatter than wider. Sorry, wider than this, and it's gonna be lapping over on the end like that. And I don't want that, so I want everything to be neat, you know, as possible. So I'm gonna put one on each end and one in the middle each. So boom. And then I'm gonna put a few of these across on the bottom. So it's all just for to make it stronger, a better foundation for when I'm in there, because obviously I'm gonna be moving around. All I gotta do is put the legs together, then add the top piece on top of those and then it's a wrap out for that but yeah let me get to it man hopefully these screws that's all i'm worried about these screws are, are they long enough but oh, if not i'm gonna just have to put it on the side man i'm gonna have to put it on the side Fuck it. If you ignite me, he's a road ahead of full prophecy to be the greatest beast the world has ever seen. I feed him every day, leave the bones clean. I feed him all the hate, and he grows me. And he gets fucked, you a big piss off quick. And if you cross him, you might drop dead. Metaphorically, of course, said to live this or never getting bored. Loves the blood and go always wanting more freedom from the source. They don't really understand until they feel the force of hard. And if you start shit, you'll be heartless in the darkness. Torn apart quick, you left stars ripped to be chewed up and discarded. And this world ain't right, won't accept it Negative energy, I expect it Once it's in your mind, it's infectious So fight for your life and reject it You better give me space, I'm protective My adrenaline spikes when I'm threatened And if you stay in my way, I'm aggressive Cause when there's no legs, it'll kill when I'm desperate
once again. And I was gonna hit the gym tonight, but I'm still gonna hit that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because win is win and lose is lose. So when I'm done here, I'm gonna get something to eat. You know, get some nutrition, you know. And um, then I'm gonna go, well, I'm gonna I'm a prep for the gym. I'm gonna eat, get a little rest, and then I'm gonna go hit the gym. I'm gonna shower and all that and um, get ready for tomorrow because I gotta edit these videos. I got other stuff to edit. <laughs> frame is complete all I got to do is make the covers for the bottom but I still made mistakes little mistakes so here's the final look at it the bottom's done the top's done the mattress goes up here storage goes below and I gotta make some covers for the front but I still made a mistake though I still for like basically I didn't I was just paying attention to the height of the seat by this by this frame I forgot about these made it a little extra higher then when I put the then when I put the mattress on it it's gonna be a little extra higher so my head is still kind of gonna touch the ceiling but it don't, still it don't matter to me to be honest it don't matter to me at least I can lay down sleep when I need to because I don't be in here all day every day anyway so I still have space in the back for the kitchen Still got space for a little chair over there and a table. And I'm gonna be entering either there or there. It don't matter, but I'd rather enter here. That way I don't have to come out the van at all. And everything's obviously gonna be gone from there. Everything's gonna be packed neatly under, under here with the storage. And then when I make the chair, I'm gonna make more storage under the chair too. You get me? So, yeah, man. I'm hyped. I'm real hyped. I'm glad I got something done today. I'm excited. I feel good. See? Every little counts, you know? It all adds up. So, um, today is day two. And it was, a, it was a success today. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel real good. I feel real good, man. And shout out to all you van lifers out there who's putting in work too and doing you guys build and all that. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, big up to all the new subscribers. Much love and respect. And all the ones who've been there. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all the support. I appreciate y'all for watching. You know what I'm saying? For encouraging. Love and I appreciate y'all. So, it's a wrap, man. I feel real good, man. It's decent enough for me. It's actually perfect for me. You know what I'm saying? And it didn't even take me that long, too. I'm... You know what I'm saying? Knocked it out. It's still early. It's probably like, what time is it now? I gotta check. But uh, either way, man, I'm gonna go. Oh, it's 12 o'clock right now. So I'm gonna go grab some, make something to eat. I gotta pull up at the store, grab some tuna because I want some wraps. And I don't know. I've been hooked on wraps these days, man. That's one of my favorite meals. Like, literally, I ate some chicken wraps last night. Love and respect to all you guys, man. Love and respect to all you guys. Um, I'm going to see you guys on the next one. I appreciate the love. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. All right? <laughs>